What is going on, everybody? Mattitude 22 here today, bringing you guys another figure review. Today, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Wizard Build a Figure Wave uh, Spider Gwen figure. Just really quick, I want to point out I know in a lot of cases, I always say I save my favorite figure for last. I, I do want to say that uh, that was not the case. With this one, this was not really my favorite figure. I don't think I had a favorite figure in this wave. Uh, to me, this kind of wave... Uh, to me, I've, I found this wave very subpar. But regardless, so we are saving Gwenpool for last. As always, guys, we're going to take a quick look at the packaging because this one is a little different. So you got unbelievable Gwenpool right there. And then I like on the background, it's got the little G's and the bombs. The hearts, whatever. Nice picture of Gwenpool on the side. We got the same picture on the other side. And then the pink G on top. Very cool. On the back there is the figure. Little backpack. I don't know why they had to show us that separately, but... Brief little bio. If you want to read that in any of these fine languages, feel free to now. Other figures available. There's a build a figure, of course. We've already ran through this wave. So this is finishing it up, and then we'll talk about the Build-A-Figure. But, uh, yeah, I think that pretty much sums up the packaging. I'm just better adjust my camera. So why don't we go ahead and talk about the figure. All right, so looking at the figure herself, I think she's not really anything special. Pretty subpar. Face sculpt is okay. It's not great. I, I kind of don't like it. I, I think her mouth is too big. I think her smile is too big. I don't know why. Maybe that's just me. But to me, it's just way too big. But I like the red lipstick. That is a nice touch. Overall, not a lot of sculpting or texturing. The body itself is painted pretty good. I don't see any huge issues with the paint. Uh, maybe some scuffage on the boots. The boots are a little bit more rough. But they do look nice nonetheless. And there's some texturings. She's got socks. And their little knee pads or shin pads. So pretty nice. Shoes are obviously just painted pink. But they do at least look like running shoes, which is good. And then she's kind of just got the plain legs. A little bit of... This is a separate piece right here. So pretty good. Obviously her adorable penguin backpack, which is probably the nicest part of this figure. And that just kind of sits on. So you can remove it. You can just kind of slide it on and slide it off. I'm not going to do that. But just know that you can. Two swords fit in the back. Swords. Not too much to talk about. Nice sculpting on the brown handle. They look pretty nice. And they are a decent length. Unlike the Sasquatch Wave Deadpool. His swords were horribly short. So I am glad that they kind of corrected that here. Belt is pretty solid. It's got the little G and then a lot of different stuff going on around the belt, on the side of the belt, but no really paint on it. So a lot of buttons, a lot of stuff that should be painted but really isn't, which which is not, it's not a huge deal. I mean, I can kind of let that go. I really don't care for this figure anyway, to be honest, guys. If you know me, you know I'm not a real big fan of Deadpool. Uh... One thing to note, she does have a horribly painted, you can see that, it looks really rough, really painted poorly. She has a trigger finger, I don't know why she has no guns, doesn't make sense to me, but we have it. Then she's got the, little, the hand to hold the cell phone, which we'll look at later when we go over her accessories. Alright, articulation head, side to side, rotates, kind of moves around, it is on a ball peg on a neck disc, so get it to move so you can do quite a bit with that arm moves up to here which is a huge range of motion so you can do almost anything with that move it back super far move it forward backpack does not inhibit the articulation that much obviously it does a little bit but not enough that it'll really deter you from any kind of poses it's got the swivel in the elbow single jointed elbow wrist rotation and of course a wrist hinge and she has a diaphragm joint, which doesn't really move the best forward and back. At, at least mine doesn't. So it rotates very nicely. But for me, that's about all it does. Hips move out this far. 
kicks this far forward, which is not that good. Doesn't kick that far back. She's got a thigh swivel, double jointed knee. Very nice range of motion on that. And the ankle rockers and ankle pivot. All right, let's look at her accessories. She does come with an annoying amount of them. So she's got an alternate head where she's kind of sticking her tongue out or licking her lips. I, I don't know what that's about, but kind of the same deal. I think the mouth is too big. It's with the hand for the, the peace sign hand, which is basically for the selfie, which is dumb anyway. And she comes with another left trigger finger, which the trigger fingers, I will point out, focus, focus. I will point out the trigger fingers do hold the self, uh, the swords, but I just don't know why they needed to be trigger fingers. This is obviously just Hasbro cheaply reusing parts, which is something they're known for. And she comes with this open left hand. I don't know what that's for. And this open right hand. Uh, I don't know. To me, these are good for absolutely nothing. I don't know why they gave her these, why they didn't just give her fists. Because I don't really think there's anything you can use these for. You definitely can't use them to hold the swords. So, in in my mind, that makes them useless. I seem to have lost my plastic baggie for her accessories. That is annoying. Um, okay, final accessory. She comes with a little smartphone again for the selfie. So you can see kind of nice detail on it. You can kind of make out the power button on the bottom. Other than that, the little logo on the back, I don't know what that's supposed to be for. I don't know, but nonetheless, it is there. It's actually really irritating me that I lost that bag. It's definitely not that big a deal, but... I guess it's not, it's not that big a deal, but... It is annoying me enough. Uh, I found it, not to worry. So yeah, all in all, I don't really have any kind of feelings towards this figure. Uh, I don't really like it, I don't, but I don't really like Gwenpool to begin with. But I don't really, I don't dislike the figure itself in any kind of way. So it's kind of hit and miss. I mean, if you're a fan of the character, then you might like this figure. Uh... Or, like I said, e either way, it is a decent enough figure. Just like I said, Gwenpool, Deadpool in general, not really my cup of tea. But overall, pretty solid. Despite how much I dislike her, I still think she's probably one of the better ones in the wave. Not the best, but I did, I did mention at the start, I did think this was a pretty subpar review or uh, the review subpar review uh, I hope the review is not is not subpar I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, I meant it, I meant to say it was a pretty subpar wave for me I didn't there was nothing really that kind of made me be like yeah like this is a really good wave but that is it so other than that thank you guys for watching this subpar review i guess i hope you liked it if you did please make sure you like share leave me a comment and subscribe other than that i will catch you guys next time with another figure review and bye